Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows Vista on VirtualBox. Before we get started, please go and vote up in the recommendations what my next video should be about. And also share this video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, click that subscribe button. With this being said, we are ready to get started on other tutorials. So this works for Linux and Mac also. So you need VirtualBox or VMware. I got a video about that. The link will be in the description and you'll need the ISO that I uploaded myself on Mediafire and shorten the link. So click new. So I want you to know that's no malware. And now you're gonna go ahead and put any name you want. I'm gonna put here Windows Vista and make sure you check 32 bit. Hit next, put in the amount of RAM you want. I'm gonna put one gig create and I'm going to select my format so it's compatible with VMware click fix size for the best performance and then you're going to go and browse for a location I'm going to put this here okay and I'm going to put it another partition hit okay and hit create so now this is going to take a little while I'm going to fast forward a little bit the video so it doesn't take so long also, the duration of this will take us bigger as you put the hard drive. So I, it's going to take a little while since I created a 25 gigabyte hard drive. So let's just wait. Okay, so it's done. Now you're gonna click over to settings in the upper left corner and a window will show up. Okay, and now you're gonna click over to system and go over to acceleration. If you don't got it, enable virtualization and bias. So Google search your computer. Now you're gonna enable these two and put as much video memory as you can and also you're i'm gonna go ahead and add a floppy controller because i want a floppy drive too uh, and i'm gonna leave that empty also i'm gonna put in here you're gonna put the iso that you just downloaded from mediafire so i'm gonna click ok and then you're gonna click ok and click over to start so now we're going to wait a little bit, the machine will start up and we're going to set up windows onto our virtual machine. Okay, so now it's going to start. The first boot always takes a little and now you're going to see that windows is loading files. So now it's actually copying some files from the ISO to the RAM memory so it can actually start the installation okay and you're gonna see the nice Windows Vista loading screen and now you're gonna see the pointer and it's gonna start the setup so you're gonna see that says please wait so we're gonna wait a little bit and then it's gonna go up and we're gonna go onto the regional settings and then we can get started. So now what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and select language and the 
currency and time format and your keyboard layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and select mine. Okay, and then you're gonna click next. Read this and tick that box and then click next. And then you're gonna get this unpartitioned space. I recommend you to partition it, even if you do only one partition, like I will do now. Uh, if you know how, you're, you can create more partitions, but I'm not going to do this right now. And you're going to click format, hit OK. And format all the partitions if you created multiple ones. So you're going to click next. And now it's going to copy some Windows files. I'm going to skip through this part and only the expanding files will take a little longer. So I just uh, skipped it a little bit. And then what you're gonna see is that real quick it's gonna take those two boxes for install features and updates and then it's gonna ask you to restart the machine you can either click restart now or you're gonna wait those 10 seconds so that's gonna restart do not press any key you want to boot from the hard drive now and you're gonna leave the ISO in do not get it out because on the way, even if it boots from the hard drive, it's still going to copy on the go some files from the ISO. So you're going to wait. And this might take a little while. So you're going to wait for this to actually complete. Okay, so now it's gonna go and this depends this this may be slower so now you're gonna see this and you're gonna wait and you're gonna see again the com completing installation prompt and then what's gonna happen is gonna restart again once we go over to the setup um, okay so now we're gonna do the exact same thing we're not going to press any key we're going to let it boot from the hard drive and if required it's going to get some files on the go and only once vista it's completely installed we can actually remove the iso without getting it all over again all the windows vista installation and i did this and i had to reinstall all the operating system because i took the disk while it was uh, actually asking for these so do not do this mistake I did, I did this with Windows XP okay so now it's gonna ask you for some users I'm gonna put here my name I'm gonna skip the password click next and then click next I'm gonna change that background click use recommended settings uh, select your time zone so you're gonna select your time zone real quick okay click next put home or work and hit start so now what's gonna happen is that we installed Vista but we need to activate it so take into consideration the fact that we need to activate our product in order to work okay so it's going to take a little bit the performance of the computer, but we still have to install the drivers and I'm going to show you that in a minute once we activate the product. And I test a little bit Windows Vista and it's not that buggy as people say, okay? It's actually not that bad. We install the Home Premium because this is the only file that I could activate I found and it was really hard for me to find the correct file no bugs or viruses so now it's gonna prepare the desktop I'm gonna skip a little bit through this part um, now I'm gonna install a browser okay so I installed Mozilla Firefox and WinRAR okay I'm gonna put the links in the description and you also need this RAR archive okay I installed Mozilla because I didn't was I wasn't able to use um, Internet Explorer so open up the RAR archive once you download it WinRAR and what you need to do now is actually wait for it a little bit to open 
okay so click that folder and um, click extract and we're gonna put this to our desktop and hit OK and we can now close these okay so now we're gonna delete these two files I press the delete key on the keyboard and want to right click so hit yes and delete these two files and we're gonna close this up and empty the recycle bin and also please note that I wasn't able to actually install Google Chrome I tried to download it through Internet Explorer maybe if you download it from Mozilla it will work but I installed uh, Mozilla so hit allow over here once you open up the executable so open up that executable hit allow and now we're gonna wait a little bit and it's gonna actually ask you to install the activation key and stuff because now it's just a trial so we got here the activator and what you need to do is click install I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit now we're on fast forwarding so guys now it's done and it's gonna ask you you're gonna click close and you're gonna delete this folder also okay and what we're gonna do now is actually we're gonna install the specific drivers for our Vista and don't try to see if it's activated because only after you restart that's gonna happen so empty the recycle bin uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and go and search MS config because we need to put into safe mode to install our drivers uh, it's only one driver but they are they come in a package and we're gonna install them through safe mode so open up run and now what you need to do is type in MS config okay because we need to install the drivers in safe mode um, click continue because only the direct 3d driver requires safe mode and let's just install the drivers okay so what you're gonna do now on to MS config is click on boot and tick safe boot and hit apply hit OK now click restart and wait a little bit for the computer to restart it's gonna restart into safe mode okay so it's gonna restart in safe mode directly okay I'm gonna fast forward this process right now because okay guys so we're once we are in safe mode now what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna close up this prompt right here and you're gonna go and search for run again and click run and click MS Conf again hit OK and now what you want to do is actually go again over to the boot tab and untick safe boot and hit apply hit OK so next time when we boot it's gonna go in normal mode so click exit without restart and click insert guest edition CD or VMware tool if you're in VMware so you're gonna click computer and you're gonna go to the disk drive and you're gonna prompt this so you're gonna click next next and tick this direct 3d click no click ok and then you're gonna click install so what we're gonna do is not do not get the disk out until you reboot in normal mode so you're gonna click um, over here you're gonna click always trust and hit install and next time when you boot uh, you can actually take out the disk but until this do does not complete you do not want to take out the disk uh, actually the virtual disk so you're gonna click here on reboot now let's make sure that stick and then what you're gonna do is actually click over to um, finish and it's gonna go in normal now and I'm gonna fast forward it's gonna get normal now because before we install them we actually told it to boot normally next time so now we're up and you're gonna a few seconds uh, you're gonna see that the, it adapts for your hardware that it gave to the virtual machine so now it's got full screen and all the nice stuff so let's just go and select the arrow theme okay we're gonna close this prompt up and you're gonna go and select arrow theme so thanks for watching see you next time on how to IT